What's going on there folks? Good afternoon, good morning to some out there. It's the Earth Master here on this Tuesday, October 18th, 2022 date. It is about 10.56 a.m. California time. Latest quake shows a 1.5 over here around the Alaska area. That is the latest earthquake up there on the map. Uh, just a real quick special announcement here. We are going to be adding a second live stream here. Uh, separate from our current live stream, which is earthquakes and solar weather. Uh, second live stream will be devoted uh, almost entirely uh, along with updates to volcanoes and um, other potential activity around the globe. So, uh, you know, with a live stream, you can only cue in so much activity. Uh, right now, we try to cover earthquake activity, uh, seismographs, and space weather, but I think it's necessary here to include uh, a little upgrade to the channel in terms of volcanic activity uh, in a separate live stream. And, um, and then also do some volcanic updates specifically in regards to that uh, separate live stream as well. So anyway, it's all in the works. I'm going to be putting this all together today. So just a little heads up for the folks out here listening on the live stream right now. Should be pretty interesting as uh, we get it all together. I think it's uh, I think it'd be a pretty cool upgrade for the channel here. All right, uh, earthquake activity. Let me make sure we got the latest map here, which we do. It looks a little spotty, uh, but not as spotty as the uh, Earthquake 3D, 3D program was. Looks like during the night sometime when I wasn't looking, uh, someone turned down the, uh, the amount of earthquakes out there on the globe. But it wasn't me, and there was no one here unless there's a ghost. So either way, what do we got? Little scattered activity equally spread out amongst the plates today. Um, a little bit of noticeable activity down here along the South America region, including a 5.0. Uh, that earthquake coming in overnight down along the Peru Chile Trench. Um, not a super deep earthquake, kind of up there around the uh, subduction zone itself, upstream, about 39 kilometers deep in that, into that area. Also, uh, continued activity, it looks like, overnight around the uh, Cocos Plate here, <clears throat> excuse me, with some activity off the coast of Mexico onto the Pacific side of the plate boundary. Uh, although this one coming in yesterday, the most recent earthquake activity appears to be around the Puerto Rico area and uh, some microquakes warming up there. 4.7 in Colombia, underneath Colombia, into the mountain ranges here underneath the mountains, 163 kilometers deep for that 4.7. Pretty deep earthquake there. Into that region, uh, let's see, what do we got for the states? Not a whole lot for the 2.5 and above. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we got. Well, little activity along the coastline, it looks like. A 2.7 near Lopez Point. That earthquake uh, coming in this morning time frame. Let's see here. That one there from yesterday, 1.8. Trying to see if we see anything new out here. Uh, no major swarms to take note of. No major unusual activity around the San Andreas Fault for now. Uh, just a little uptick in the Ridgecrest area. Of course, they had that sequence of earthquakes back in 2019. Little earthquake movement up against the crest here of the mountains. You can see that uh, uh, very well-defined line up against Utah into uh, portions of uh, southern Idaho, it looks like. Yellowstone National Park, a uh, earth couple earthquakes listed up on the map. Let's go ahead and check out the latest overview here from Yellowstone. And that is refreshed, so that is the current data. And this is continuing. Uh, it's been an ongoing deal here for over six weeks, far as this earthquake swarm goes. Now, this is not a lot uh, during a day period, but it is. It has been consistent, and six weeks is uh, quite a long time for an earthquake swarm. Um, so we'll probably see if we can't build up a little tally tonight with the update. I know I got a lot going on today. Um, and I will be adding that second live stream on a little bit later today and then uh, put together an update schedule for both of the streams. But we'll do a, a little tally, see if we can't figure that out as far as the uh, amount of quakes that have been uh, keyed up there since, uh, well, the past six weeks as noted. 
Alaska, some movement, but uh, even up there, things a little on the spotty side. One earthquake along the Aleutian Trench uh, earlier, just earlier this morning time frame, a 3.3, 10 kilometers deep. Western Pacific, a little spotty over here as well. Today's just one of those spotty Tuesdays. Not a whole lot of movement um, throughout the globe. 5.0 in the Banda Sea area this morning time frame. That one is super deep. Uh, 459 kilometers here for this area. There's just a mix of plate dynamics here throughout the area. You can kind of see if you look at the gradual map here, how this whole area, uh, the topography of the oceanic floor and the... Uh, the islands all get warped and twisted uh, by this plate dynamic uh, setup here. There's just a lot of trenches, a lot of uh, subduction zones in and around this area. Very complex system that kind of just ripping everything apart uh, throughout the millions of years, so to speak, uh, in terms of plate dynamics here. It's, just, it's really cool to look at, but also at the same time very complex and uh, hard to figure out exactly where this pressure gradient is going once we see these deeper earthquakes. Uh, there is the a little plate boundary up here that could be a indicator of, or at least maybe something to watch here throughout the day following all this deeper movement inland. Uh, and then again, you got the Java Trench over here. So a whole bunch of complex uh, faults and systems there in that area. Uh, what do we got for the Vanuatu area? 4.3 at 242 kilometers deep. Some older movement there uh, last night, it looks like. 4.2 down there, way down there. These are these are the deepest quakes here on the planet. 602 kilometers deep now. The deepest earthquake, I think it was, what, 670? I don't know, somewhere around there. I don't have to dig that up, see if we can't find that. But uh, some of the deepest earthquakes do take place here within this region. Right here, smack dab in this area. All right, Big Island of Hawaii, and then I got to jump off here and get stuff going. Pretty eventful day. 17 earthquakes, mostly confined here to the Pahala area. Let's go ahead and uh, give a quick check here of the seismographs. This is from last night, so we're going to refresh this map, make sure we got the latest one. Check out Mauna Loa seismograph station up here, and uh, over the past 12 hours, things mellowing out. Notice that. Uh, there's not quite as many larger quakes there at Mauna Loa. Uh, and they're kind of getting a little on the spotty side here. So a handful of quakes here, but appears to be toning down there at Mauna Loa as far as the earthquake swarm goes around the Pahala area and up at the summit. So we'll continue to watch that, though, and report as needed. Uh, let's see. Any unusual activity across the eastern portion? we got one earthquake here around the Tennessee area. Looks like a 1.1, but even then, that's typical. We, we see earthquakes out there all the time. Uh, it's the swarms that we would want to watch far as a potential of a larger earthquake. North Atlantic Ocean up here around the... Goodness, uh, Charlie Gibbs Fracture Zone. Remember, we had a, a pretty good swarm here over the last few weeks in that area. All right, guys, uh, a real quick check, check of the um, space weather events here. Lack of space weather events, very calm, very minimal. Uh, so now today is a perfect day to uh, get my stuff lined up here for the new live stream. Again, just real quick, I'm going to have a second live stream here keyed up. Separate from this one, of course. Uh, this one will remain the same. Those that like earthquakes, space weather events, watching live seismographs will be the same. And uh, I'm going to key up a, a volcano live stream uh, that covers uh, volcano activity. Might even have seismograph stations located around those volcanoes. And uh, and it'll be just it's it'll be its own separate entity. And I will do updates in regards to the volcanic activity on that separate live stream. Uh, and then earthquake activity, space weather events, um, and whatnot, um, solely on this channel. Well, it, um, there's no different channel, but on this live stream, I should say. And it will all make sense once it pops up. And uh, I think it would be a benefit to the channel. A lot of people asking about volcanic activity. Um, but if we just overload the live stream with 
you know, views of volcanoes and seismograph stations around volcanoes, then it kind of squashes the other important um, windows that I have open here on this live stream, which are, you know, mostly earthquake related and space weather. But if we overload them, then everything shrinks and it's hard to see any data. So I could have a hundred windows up here. And it, uh, to me, I think it'd be kind of pointless because you really can't specifically define or see anything that's happening because the windows are so small. So a separate live stream is in need and that is coming up a little bit later today. I will go over more of it specifically when we fire it up. But for now, have a good day. Got a lot of stuff going on today, so we'll chat you guys very soon. Peace out.